Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is for Behavioral Science 3010 Statistics for the Behavioral Sciences at Utah Valley University. In this video, I'm reviewing the questions and answers to pretest for Chapter 2, which is about distributions. Uh, this is a pretest that was on Canvas. It's five questions, multiple choice. Uh, and it's one that you can take as many times as you want because it's there simply to expose you to the material. The first question is, a score's frequency is determined by what? How often it occurs in the data set, how close it is to the mean of the data set, its percentile score in the data set, or its absolute value? Well, the answer to this one is A. a f the frequency of a score is how often it occurs in the data set. So that's different from its value. So for instance, if you're looking at age, a person might be 21, so the value is 21. That's their score on that thing. Um, but the frequency is how many people said they were 21 years old. And that's the frequency, is how often it occurs. Um, how close it is to the mean of the data set, we're going to deal with that later. It's something called a deviation score that you use in the standard deviation. Uh, its percentile score in the data set, well, no, that's, it. that's an indication of its percentile score. And its absolute value is sort of neither here nor there. Anyhow, a score's frequency is determined by how often it occurs in the data set. Uh, question two, what is the frequency of four in the following data set? So we're looking for the value of four, and we want to know its frequency. The uh, choices are four-fifths, three-fifteenths, twelve through fourteen, or three. Well, the answer to this one is three, because the frequency is how often the score occurs in the data set, and four occurs three times. And so that's, it. that's the answer. Uh, the 4 out of 5 is an idea that maybe somebody was latching on to the fact that it was 4 fifths of the maximum value, or 3 of 15, that, meaning that 3 of the 15 scores were 4s, or that their position in this set was uh, positions 12, 13, 14, but anyhow, those are all different things. The frequency of the score of 4, the value of 4, is 3 in this data set. Okay, next question. Which type of chart would be most appropriate for a nominal variable? The answers, uh, choices are histogram, scatter plot, box plot, or bar graph. Well, the answer to this one is a bar graph. That's the, uh, when you're dealing with a nominal variable, that means categories, like male, female, or um, your major, or something like that. And the only uh, choice of these ones that works is a bar graph, because you simply use a bar to indicate how many people are in each category. Histograms, scatter plots, and box plots are all designed for uh, quantitative variables at the interval or ratio level. So, for instance, a person's age or their GPA or something like that. Um, and we'll talk about those in other situations. All right. Number four. A distribution such as income that has most of the people at the bottom or middle, but a few people with extremely high scores, is referred to as what? Uh, bimodal, negatively skewed, positively skewed, or unrepresentative? Well, the answer to this one is positively skewed, because remember, it's the outliers that determine the skewness, the people who are far away from the mean. And in this case, it's people on the high end, so that's positively skewed. If it were people on the low end who were the farthest away from the mean, then it would be negatively skewed. Bimodal is for when you have two humps, that's a different thing, and unre unrepresentative, um, that's just about how well a sample represents a population. It has nothing to do with the shape of a distribution. Okay, question five. This distribution can be described as blank, bimodal, mesocurtic, normal, or uniform. Well, the answer to this one is a bimodal. Mode means uh, most common score. Um, and in a histogram like this, you can just say it as the hump or the high point on the chart. And this one has two distinct humps at, uh, in the early 20s and in the early 80s. And that makes it bimodal for two modes. Um, Mesocurtic is a term for describing uh, the shape of a distribution that's like a normal curve. Um, normal is a bell curve, and uniform would be something that's totally flat all the way through. Anyhow, those are the answers to the pretest for Chapter 2, and I'll see you for the next practice test.